things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Whisper of the Day from Monday. Yeah, Monday 27th. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Let's get going with the SPY. You can see right here, oops, we tagged two moving averages. Yep, we talked about this in boot camp. There it is right there, the 30 simple and the 20 simple, and we've come back down. So it's not in a great spot right here yeah lots of traffic but if we do break down there's a lot of room to the downside especially to this 435 the 90 simple moving average so yeah keep an eye on where it is on the daily chart at all times today we're going to be bullish above 446.75 bearish below 442.50 we have not gotten there yet we'll see but we did get a new dark pull level 443.21, 5.2 million on Friday. All right, that 445 level is really key though. See this guy, oops, right here. 11.5 million. Yeah, if we close above that, that's bullish. So, you know, everybody's watching that. All right, let's go to the Russell, the IWM. All right, had a little bit of an upthrust action this morning. Had a new level 224.06. So we're going to be bullish above that 224.50 and bear below 225, 222.25. And we are in between there. Um, we'll see which way she wants to go. Let's go to the QQQ. Tech stocks are getting the biggest hit this morning. You could even see on the daily chart that were below the uh, the four and the eight. Just touching down on that 50 simple moving average, that blue yeah, line right there, that's key. And you can see there's uh, nothing below us on that daily chart to stop it. We had a recent print, 373.02, 3.5 million on Friday. We had this other big print, 373.40, all right. So, uh, yeah, bullish above 373.25 today. Doesn't look like it's going to get there. Uh, yeah, this bear below 371. We've already gone below it, and we already hit our first target just now. All right, so that's a key level, 373.50. Um, 370 is another level to go short. Uh, actually, 369.80, I would pick that level. All right, 369.80 for another entry on the short side. All right, let's go to the futures. Bullish above 44.60 and on the E-minis and bear below 44.34. We are there right now testing that level. Yeah, but you know, keep an eye on that 8 EMA that's going to move when the price moves. So you know, don't go short when we're hitting it. All right, if we go below, absolutely. NASDAQ. Futures bullish above 15,380 and bear below 15,200. We're coming down there right now. Yeah, tech is definitely not looking great. Oh, let's go to uh, oil futures. Hold on a minute. Let me just get my chart from Think or Swim. Yeah, oil to the moon today. Yeah, look at that. We are actually coming up to a uh, trend line. Yep, high resistance trend line right here going all the way back. I believe this, uh, yeah, this trend line is, I had this on my charts for a very long time. Yep, and we're hitting it once again. You know, we've had tons of dark pull activity on oil. So let me just go back to that five minute. All right, we're going to be bullish above uh, 75.20. We've already gone above that. And we're going to be bearish below 74 all right all the way down here but watch yeah watch this trend line area if we close above that that'll be uh today that'll be very bullish yeah, we will be way off to the races okay 75 the major price level let's see if we up thrust or not uh let's go to the gold futures yeah what is gold doing today all right lots of volume 
literally is just coming in on this five minute candle we're having right now bullish above 1756 and bear below 1744 for the gold futures let's head on over to Bitcoin futures all right lots of volume also uh, starting to come in on the Bitcoin futures today bullish above 45,000 really key price level bear below 43,000 just below this pivot and below the pre market volume let's head on over to individual stocks and let's see we got Apple had lots of volume this morning tons of prints at 146.42 you guys we had so many seven million we are below that we're going down Bear below 145.50, that's the next level just below us, and bullish above 147.50 for Apple. Let's head on over to cruising, CCL, lots of prints on all the cruise ships on Friday. I put them all in the dark pool insights, but CCL had pre-market volume, so pick this one. Bullish above 26.20, bear below 25.50 for CCL, PLTR. Bullish above 29.06, bear below 28. XLE, we're bullish above 52. All right, this is the energy ETF. Lots of prints on this one. Bear below 50.99 for a retrace trade. This is just for day trading. Let's head on over to X on mobile. Bullish above 59. And we're headed there right now. Bearish below 57.25 for a retrace. Yeah, there were lots of pivots on a lot of these stocks. So I had to go lower or way higher. I didn't want you to get entangled in them. Yeah, it's not a good trade. Rather have no trade than a bad trade. Uh, AMD, bullish above 106.55. And uh, bullish above that and bear below 104 lots of room to the downside we have these dark pull prints we could have a retracement to the print trade first but really that 104 the coast is clear Nvidia is up next bullish above 224 bear below 217 lots of prints on Nvidia it's been splashing like crazy but now is below the 4 and the 8 looking very weak Microsoft, you see there's a lot of tech stocks on the whisper today because that's really where the volume and the open trades were. Bullish above 350 cents, bear below 297. We're coming there right now. And BHP had a pre-market dark pool print. Yeah, pretty rare. Uh, not sure if it's a price discrepancy. They kind of whipped it up to 55, 16, and then it came down again. So I'm only going to be bullish above that. 55.20, bear below 54.20. There you have it. Those are your whispers of the day for Monday, September 27th. Until next time, happy trading, everybody.